What are your impressions of Fotorama? Um, well, I've had an awesome time since I came here. I feel like um, it was a great experience to meet the students since my first time coming to Serbia. So that was a really cool uh, uh, thing to get the to get the invite. Um, but also, like the festival is uh, uh, very relaxed and uh, it's not pretentious at all. There's none of the uh, the egos and things that I might come across in any other festivals that I've been to. Everyone is just happy to be here and happy to be working on photography and really excited about excited about photography. Um, and uh, so that's just been very very refreshing and very rewarding. Tell me something about your workshops here. Yeah, so um, I have done a couple of different uh, things since I've been here. Um, we did a field workshop where we walked around uh, with some of the students and uh, we went, visited a monastery um, and met some of the nuns who were very nice to uh, open up their monastery to us and um, uh, let us take uh, invade with our, with our cameras. Um, so we walked around and uh, talked about not just the equipment, but also like how I approach uh, people when I'm working in the field, and also how I might approach uh, a given scene um, that I might encounter in that type of work. Um, and then also we've done some uh, portfolio critiques, uh, which we're working on right now, uh, which has been really great to see other students work. And of course, there's been the exhibition as well, uh, which has been awesome. Uh, Marco and and uh, the rest of the Photorama team. They all uh, did an amazing job printing these huge pictures. <laughs> and uh, it was just really uh, humbling and, and special um, and, and just overwhelming for me to come in and see all the work that went into making this look so nice and polished. So anyway, I'm just really appreciative of, of everything that everyone's done. And what is it about your exhibition? Uh, yeah, my exhibition is about uh, Mount Athos. It's uh, uh, the, uh, the Holy Mountain, uh, Greek Orthodox uh, Peninsula. Um, and uh, it was my first story uh, that I shot for National Geographic uh, several years ago. Uh, tell me something about your uh, work in National Geographic. Uh, what uh, kind of uh, stories you prefer to do? Well, I, I do... Uh, I do all kinds of stories, but um, but my uh, real passion is to do uh, long-term documentary uh, photography on uh, usually like uh, cultural enclaves, so interesting like uh, uh, cultures across the across the world. Uh, so those are my that's my favorite type of thing to photograph, uh, and that's what this project was about. Uh, what do you think about Kragovac and uh, Serbia, and uh, can you compare that with your expectations before you came here? Well, first, um, I think uh, Kragovac is very difficult to pronounce, but I'm getting closer, I think. <laughs> um, I, uh, I really love this town. It, uh, there are some things that, are, that feel very familiar and uh, a lot like home, like it's a, it's a little bit like a traditional college college town uh, back at home with a lot of young and energetic uh, people and there's a clearly a thriving art scene and a really awesome uh, photo community which is really really cool to see. Um, Serbians have been extremely welcoming and everyone's been so nice to me since I since I arrived so that's been very very pleasant. Um, my impressions before I came, I, I'm not really sure I knew what to expect. Um, I definitely didn't expect everyone to be as nice and welcoming as they are, just because it's more welcoming than most places I've ever been in my life. So <laughs> I didn't really expect that when I came. And um, I don't know, it's just been uh, very, very inspiring, especially to see the students who are wearing so many hats and doing three different jobs and have a real passion for photography at the same time um, and are making the time to, to do all this work. It's, uh, it's really inspiring, their work ethic. And uh, how you started to cooperate with Marco? 
Uh, yeah, Marco uh, and I actually have a mutual friend, Erica Larson, who's um, uh, shown here before, and she uh, recommended that I come out. So uh, Erica actually introduced us, and she sent an email, and at first I thought maybe this was like a joke, or she sent it to the wrong person, because <laughs> I didn't think anyone would want to send me all the way out here for, for a show like this, and I was very uh, honored um, by the invitation. Uh, so he sent me a few emails, and... Um, it went silent there for a while because uh, I know he was very busy to, like, trying to pull all the resources and getting everything together. And um, I was just so happy when everything finally came through in the end. And when I got here, I was very impressed at all the work that went into it. And, and obviously, he did a great job. <laughs>